Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. It is exactly two weeks until the Calgary Comic Expo 2021, and my big question is, will I have my costume done in time? As you can see, I've mostly been doing body work, and uh, as less complex as it is compared to the electronics, it still does take a lot of time to do. I'm actually right in the middle of working on the back, and hopefully uh, tonight or tomorrow I will have finished that and done the top as well so that I have a complete outer hull. Yes, the other side is, is done already. Oh yeah, I gotta do the front too. Um, but the cool thing that I need to show you here is the, uh, the chair that has the camera and the monitor on it. Alright, I'm just going to open this up. It's It's got a motor on it, it's just not hooked up at the moment. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, closed circuit television is working. And uh, I am the only costume at the expo that is going to be using a Zoom meeting as a technique for social distancing. <laughs> Pretty proud of that. It is much less fancy on the inside, but uh, it works. As you can see, the uh, canopy has a little bit of scratching on it, but I can see it better than what, uh, what this video can show. So, not to worry. I'm also gonna be painting the inside of the uh, cockpit black, so there'll be less uh, reflection. As I had mentioned in the previous video, is that there is an actual seam along here uh, where the pieces separate for disassembly. And I needed something a little more rigid for this seam right here. And so there is some corrugated plastic behind there, and these are actual bolts that go into there using these uh, washer pairs that I 3D printed, and it keeps it uh, nice and flat there. So I'll have to add one more on the bottom there, but uh, that keeps it fairly straight together and rigid and uh, I really like that's how that is working. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I did do a whole bunch of rewiring. I had a whole bunch of different kinds of wire in there. I went out and got 150 feet of network cable at Princess Auto, and it has made the whole thing a whole lot nicer. And that's one thing that I would recommend when you're doing wiring of any kind in a big costume like this, is get the network cable because it is a good, uh, a good size wire and can pretty much carry all the power that you need in something like a cosplay costume. Another thing about the network cable is that with large costumes, it makes it a whole lot easier to connect and disconnect your pieces together. Well, I'm going to get back to it so that hopefully in two weeks, you'll be able to see me walking around at Calgary Comic Expo. Thanks for watching. See you later. Subscribe.